made. The union representing hourly workers at Hamilton Sunstrand and Pratt & Whitney say they have just begun to fight. Their target is the F-22 fighter aircraft program, which Defense Secretary Gates wants to discontinue. NBC 30 Chief Political Correspondent Tom Monahan is here with the latest. Tom. Well, Lisa, Senator Chris Dodd and Congressman John Larson are at a big union rally in East Hartford today to lend their support. Dodd saying this is a fight that can be won, but it will not be easy. Correct. This is the finest piece of technology in the world. There's not a radar system in the world. And he criticized the main argument that the plane be discontinued, that argument being the plane was not used in Iraq or Afghanistan. His response to that, it should have been used, and it should be used today. Dodd, Larson, and other members of the state's congressional delegation have written to President Obama. They told him they strongly disagree with Secretary Gates' recommendation to end the F-22. Both Dodd and Larson said an end to the F-22 would be a serious blow to the industrial skill base at both Hamilton and Pratt and & Whitney. Laid-off workers would go elsewhere, they say, and that reconstituting the workforce in 2014 in order to build the new F-35 fighter plane simply would not happen. If you lose that critical mass of human beings who come together, who work together, get to know each other, that industrial base that is absolutely essential, for the success of these kinds of programs, you put your country at great risk, in my view. This is state-of-the-art technology. This is put together by the most highly skilled, highly trained workforce in America. Right here. So thousands of good-paying jobs are at stake here, and the workers say that with the economy already in trouble, an abrupt end to a major defense program like the F-22 would be devastating. Well, you lose it, then the people can't pay their mortgage, can't pay the rent. The, the job, you got to be working. That's the issue here. You got to keep this work here in Connecticut. We need this contract to keep good, stable jobs in the state of Connecticut, keep people working, and also for the security of our country. Dodd said that right now Obama is backing Defense Secretary Gates' decision to end the F-22 program, but he says the fact that Gates still wants to build four more of those planes before ending the program is a good sign. Dodd says that means the President and Gates both see the need for the plane. Lisa and Keisha. Thank you, Tom. Thousands of local workers are trying to save their jobs, and today they are getting some help. This week's decision by the Pentagon to end the F-22 fighter program has congressional leaders rallying behind workers at Pratt & Whitney and Hamilton Sunstrand. Channel 3's Susan Raff is live with the Mobile Newsroom tonight in East Hartford, outside PNW with more. Susan? Dennis, ending the F-22 fighter program could have a devastating effect here in Connecticut and especially here in East Hartford. Some 3,000 jobs are at stake. But congressional leaders say we should also focus on national security, which is something they say can't and shouldn't be ignored. I'm hoping everything goes well and, you know, I'll have a job in the future. These are some of the newest workers at Pratt & Whitney. Others, like Bruce Blaze, have been a machinist for 39 years. Well, everyone's got concern and fear, yeah. I'm, I'm somewhat encouraged. You know, we need to keep the country strong. We need to be ahead of everybody else. They have good reason to be worried. Ending the F-22 fighter program would take away their jobs. Today, Congressman John Larson and Senator Chris Dodd say there's even more at stake. Uh, this is not just about whether or not we can hold jobs at a time when we're losing far too many. It's about whether or not you're going to maintain that capability as a country to have that critical mass of talented human beings who come together to produce the kind of technology that the F-22 will have. Some of the jobs could come back if the Pentagon beefs up the F-35 program. But Senator Dodd says there's no replacement for the F-22, calling it the finest piece of technology in the world. We're going to need everybody's support. This is all hands on deck. If they eliminate two to 3,000 people statewide, uh, and that will probably be blue-collar and white-collar, the, the skill base is no longer there. As for the loss of jobs, it's not just here in Connecticut. In fact, we were told today that there are contractors and subcontractors in 44 states employing 75,000 people. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in East Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.